Hello and welcome to Renovation Week 10. The weeks are just flying by, honestly. Today's actually Thursday. Just and I hadn't been to the house since last Saturday. So it feels like forever since we've seen the house. He still hasn't been. I've actually just got back from the house. So I had to leave really early this morning, first thing. In fact, I got to the house before the builder even got there, <laughs> which was quite funny. But I had to drop a few bits to him because we've been, all the little deliveries that we've had, I've been keeping here at the flat, just so that they don't get lost or misplaced in the house. So I dropped a few bits to him. Then I had an appointment sort of near the house. So I popped out for like 45 minutes and I got back just in time for the guy, the surveyor from Wren Kitchens who, came out to basically measure up again now that the walls have been plastered and the house looks so different. I'm actually really glad that I was there because ordinarily the builder just sort of lets him in but obviously the builder cracks on with his work and the guy's just kind of left to his own devices so he wanted to like clarify a couple of bits which I'm really glad that I was there for actually and then the builder was asking me about like the direction of the tiles in the bathroom so again I'm glad that I was there because otherwise I'm not sure what he would have done like I don't know he might have called me or FaceTimed me like he sometimes does but I'm just I just wanted to see it in person and just get it right because this is for the recessed part of the shower where my like statement tiles are gonna go and I just don't want them to cock that up so yeah really productive day it's actually lunchtime now I've just got home I got changed because it's a really hot day outside I've just come home and got changed and as I was driving down I saw Jas walking up to go to Subway to pick us up some lunch so that's what we're having for lunch because we haven't really got time to think about food at the moment <laughs> and then tonight we need to sort of finalise a few appliances for our kitchen so I think we're actually ordering it tomorrow but yeah so I'm going to insert a few clips that I took at the house earlier here now if we start it from that's just okay, it's about five hours later, still the same day. Just and I've just got to the house because uh, we need to basically paint, now let me show you, this wall behind me because the boiler's going up tomorrow and the builder was going to paint it but somebody left the rollers in the car this morning when she came to the house anyway so <laughs> it's kind of a good thing though so i want to do as much as possible while it's still daylight because obviously there's still no electricity as you can see um in here and so it is still quite light it is what time is it so it's quarter to seven now so hopefully we'll get quite a bit done but uh, we're kind of planning to spend Saturday, Sunday and Monday in the house painting here. I just want to get things moving and just do as much as possible. So we're going to paint literally just that wall is what he wants me to do. Oh yeah, he's marked it out. Which one he wants you to do? This wall. This one here? Yeah. By the way, this house is so filthy. I think they're going to clean up at some point this weekend, but it's such a tip. Look at all this mess. And they've done the pipe work for my column radiator that's going to go up here. That's for a plug socket. Look at like all these, um, all these windows. This patio door as well. Literally every single door is like that, including the front door. And I think the skylights, yep, they're exactly the same. One thing that I noticed when I came to the house earlier is there's so many flies just in this little bit where the skylights are. I don't know what, why that is. Maybe they just come in in the day and then think maybe they can get out this way. I don't really know. Oh my God, how funny is this? This is literally the only tap that we have because they've shut off the water supply to the tap outside. So luckily, Just just discovered this and this is how we're washing our um, roller tray because it's got loads of dust in it from the builders. Do you want me to hold this? Yep, I'm going to it off. <laughs> it actually looks like I'm peeing if someone wants to look out the window next door. This is all so messy. Can I just clean this up a bit? <laughs> oh God, no, not there. Anyway, like I was saying, because the builders have this patio door open all day and often the front door as well. I think all these like flies just come into the house and then they try to escape, but they don't know how to. So maybe they're like, oh, where is it gone? <laughs> Drawn towards the light and they all kind of just hang out there. It's really gross. One other thing I've noticed in this house as well, there must be like a beehive or something nearby because 
virtually every day that I'm here, there's like a massive bee in the house. I don't think it's the same one. And yeah, they're like absolutely massive. Like one bee I saw, I literally screamed and just in the builder turned around. It was so big, but to me, like it was dying because it wasn't really flying. It couldn't really move much, but I wasn't gonna go anywhere near it. And I saw the same bee. Oh my God, it's here, it's here. Oh my God, oh my God. Like, look at this. Don't know if you guys can see it. Look at that. This was here earlier today. I don't know where they come from. It's so gross. Why is it my house? Just had a cereal bowl. The builder just called Jas. So I think he thinks Jas is here on his own. Um, he's going to swing by in about <clears throat> 15 minutes or so to help Jas out with something. So he might be here until quite late. We haven't had dinner yet. Um, but it's starting to look quite good. <laughs> you can't really see because it's. But basically, we're just painting this sort of corner because the boiler's going up here tomorrow just so that. Because obviously once the boiler's on, it's going to be very hard to paint around it. And you might be able to see the edges, obviously, if it's just plain plaster. So that's why we're doing that bit. And I've kind of made a start. So I've sanded down the outside of the toilet. And not done a very good job of painting the edges with a brush around here. Because obviously I want to get this all painted before the toilet goes in. Because the toilet's going to go here. And then, like, towel radiator. This. Ooh, is it going to focus? Oh, okay, there we go. That's the plumbing for the sink. Just there. And this bit will be tiled up here. And yeah, so this bit will be painted. So that's kind of what I want to crack on and start doing um, ASAP before they start tiling. But the reason I'm in such a rush to get it done is because I know you can obviously use masking tape and stuff like that to paint and like cover the edges, but it's just easier just to do it. Do you know what I mean? And then they just stick the tiles on. I thought I knew which colour I was going to go for. We selected Farrow and Ball London Clay and then I saw on a Facebook group, some like DIY home decor Facebook group that I'm in, somebody like renovated her bathroom and she picked the most gorgeous colour. It's actually by Rustoleum and it's called Chalk Wash, so it's very similar to Lime Wash, which is what I wanted. But this is like readily available in B&Q, I think, and it's just easy to get hold of. It's probably a lot cheaper, because Lime Wash paint, I think, there's only a couple of brands, they come from Germany, it's like a powder, you have to mix it. And I just don't know if I can be asked with all that faff, and plus I don't have time to basically buy it and do it this weekend before the builders are ready to like put the toilet and stuff in. And yeah, also I don't know what the colour's gonna look like. So I'm gonna try and go to B&Q at some point tomorrow, see if I can get hold of this paint, because that'll be quite good. And then, Oh god, I'll definitely have to go tomorrow because it's another bank holiday. We've had so many bank holidays in the middle of this renovation. I feel like I say this in every other video. But again, it's bank holiday this weekend. So it's going to be a nightmare and being key. I'm not breathing that at the weekend at any point. So definitely tomorrow I'm going to have to try and make some time to go there in between coming back here and going to Ren and all the rest of it. It's just, it's all kind of speeding up a little bit. It's kind of stressing me out. There's loads to still do even once the builders are done, but I think we're very slowly getting there, so that's quite good. Jas and I have just come upstairs. Oh my God, he's scared me, didn't he? Right behind me. And um, we haven't actually been to this room yet. I didn't come earlier when I came, but this is a radiator that's obviously gonna go up on the wall. This is what I meant about the windows being so filthy. It's very echoey in here. They've actually put the radiators up in the other two bedrooms. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, look, there's one there, just on the wall, right in front of me. <laughs> so much stuff everywhere. And there's one there. 
really quickly losing daylight. Let me just open this door to show you something. So when I came to the house earlier, I'd already told the builder that I really like original features and I wanted to keep these doors. But <laughs> the other builder that was here was like, you need to change them. They're just gonna look so shit. Once the whole entire house is plastered, these doors are so battered. In fact, this is probably the one in the best condition, but then I had a chat with our actual builder and he was saying that these particular doors are very expensive. Um, they're like the Edwardian doors and I really like, I think they're called three panel, because four panel is where you have two of these at the bottom and two at the top. They're the Victorian doors, which I don't mind, but they're actually the cheapest to buy. and. They're like literally less than half the price of these and we have five doors to replace. So it's gonna be very costly. Also, apparently door handles are not this height anymore. They're a lot lower down. And obviously it's not just the cost of the doors. We have to buy door handles, three hinges. These have two, apparently newer doors have three. And then this surround is called the architrave. Architrave, that's the word. And. I was like, how do you change this? Because the walls have been plastered, surely you damage it. And he was like, this is quite easy to fix, apparently. Um, I didn't tell him about this one, though. This architrave has got like a massive hole in it. I can get round. <laughs> this one's basically just destroyed, but apparently you can just use wood filler to fill that. So I do think he has a point. I know it obviously adds more cost onto these things, but I was actually thinking this myself as well. I was like, I love the fact that these are the original doors that like came with this house I see when it was built, but it is gonna look really bad once all these walls are painted now that they've been freshly plastered and all the rest of it. So, oh, it's just like, the stuff is just never ending, is it really? Because there's always just something to do, so. Yeah, that's definitely something that we need to think about, but it's annoying. And, oh my God, my skirting board's gone up, Jess. Oh, I didn't notice that. So I chose this skirting board because I really like that it's a little bit different. It has a couple of ridges in it. The builder sent me some photos of the standard skirting that they just basically put, and he said, all new builds have this. And I was like, I'm not trying to go for that new build look. <laughs> and so I basically chose this one, which I really like. Obviously it's very dusty, but, oh, look at that. Mm, I don't know where there's holes in it, but anyway. And then when I came earlier, I can't remember if I filmed a little clip in here or not, but this is obviously the bathroom where it's gonna be. And they were asking me where I want the recesses to be. And, oh yeah, so I think, this is one recess, this is another. And I basically wanted them tall enough for tall bottles, but also so that we can put a full tile inside. I didn't want loads of little bits of tile cut up because that's the whole point of these statement tiles that are gonna go all the way down here. And then this is the recess. So, okay, I don't think I'm explaining this very well. So our shower will start from here, out here. Those are the knobs to turn the water on. I wanted them further away from the shower head so that when you step into the shower this way, you can turn the water on without getting wet as soon as you get into the shower. So that's why we've chosen to have those there. Then we've got two recesses here for our products. And here is where the vanity unit or the sink will be. And I've asked for this to be slightly recessed so that the sink will stick out from here onwards it won't be flush against this wall and the reason for that is my cabinet's going to go here and so when you're washing your face or whatever you don't hit your head um on the bathroom cabinet because that will sit a bit further back so i hope that makes sense obviously you guys will see it when it's all done right now that seems like it's so far away but i'm going to go back downstairs and see what jas is doing and hopefully we can go home soon because it is i think it's just gone eight o'clock maybe I'm looking at these paints. 
this was the colour I originally wanted. But now I've seen this one, I think that might be a bit too dark because I've just FaceTimed Jess. I don't know whether to risk it and just buy a tin because I haven't got any of the testers just for the one colour that I want, which is really annoying. But that tin's gonna be far too big anyway, so it seems like a bit of a waste buying that and having half a tin of this left over. But I suppose you do have to test paint. I've seen it online on Instagram and that colour does look perfect. So, oh my God, I don't know what to do. This is so annoying. Clip and one screw. Yeah, and it's a driver. You're a governor, aren't you? Sorry? He's the governor. Yeah. You don't need to go work. <laughs> That's true. Oh my god, it has been a day. So I'm just opening up a parcel. So I woke up really early this morning because I had so many missions to do. Just went to collect my new glasses. I missed the parcel a few days ago so we had to go to the post office depot thing to pick it up but i hope these are the right ones now because i've been looking for some new glasses my glasses are like more than eight years old which is a bit of a joke my prescription hasn't changed but the glasses are just so battered they're like plastic frames and all the coatings come off all the lenses are scratched they just need to be replaced and I'm very fussy with glasses so I found these online. I actually bought them in a black frame, took them to the optician to do the lenses and they had this tortoiseshell um, frame. Oh I really like these! Okay, so I had to send the black ones back and I reordered these. I lost out on all the postage and delivery costs but I think these look really good. I love, like, I never thought round glasses would suit me, and I found some really big ones that, these are Ray-Bans. I wasn't actually looking for designer glasses, I don't really care, because I wear contacts most of the time anyway. But anyway, I have to go pick these up. Um, this video is not about my glasses, but, oh, I'm liking these. I need to drop these off to him tomorrow morning, in fact, to get the lenses done ASAP. Anyway, <laughs> I went to B&Q, <laughs> my first trip to B&Q since we got the keys to the house, and I kind of prided myself on the fact that I hadn't had to step in there because I just really don't like being cute. I think I might have said this maybe on Instagram, maybe on here before, but there's just something about being cute. I just find that nobody has a clue. You ask for help, but the staff don't know anything. It's just like walking into, I don't know, like a shoe shop. They have the same amount of knowledge and it's just Anyway, so I went to B&Q, found the paint I was looking for, I think I filmed a clip and um, I couldn't get a tester so I really hope it's the right one because I just want to get this shit over with. <laughs> and um, then I had a meeting with the kitchen designer who came to the house and we have to rejig a few things. Tonight we're ordering the kitchen, in fact, I say tonight, oh my god it's 4.30 so we need to have dinner at like 5 because we have to leave at 5.30 to get to Ren to basically finalise the kitchen and I haven't even made dinner yet. God, okay, I need to speed this up. So we're ordering the kitchen tonight. We've had to rejig a few things and there were so many people in the house today. I filmed a few clips because my builder basically told everyone that I do YouTube and he was like, oh, film this guy. So there was a gas engineer there that was installing the boiler. But because our builder is training to be a gas engineer or training to be gas certified I don't know what the word is he has to install one more boiler and ours is the one that's going to be his last one so he was kind of training as well and there were two other students there um, kind of just shadowing this guy or watching what he does and there was just loads of people then I had my meeting with the kitchen dude and everyone was just in the kitchen so there's a lot of people in the house um I think we're gonna have to rejig a few things with the kitchen I really wanted a bit more time to shop around for appliances because when we first paid our little deposit to Ren, 
it was a bank holiday again there's so many bank holidays in all my videos um this is how long the work has gone on for we got like a promotional price so we got a sale price but if we paid the deposit that night we got an extra five percent on top which is on the on the appliances as well so we've kind of shopped around for most of them we're buying half ish from Ren half online ourselves because they're cheaper um I just really wanted to have another look so hopefully I'll get a chance to do that in between now and like 6 30 p.m <laughs> I don't know so yeah it's a big decision that's happening tonight uh it's been a day tomorrow there's gonna be lots of running around we're gonna go to the house start painting I think we're going to spend all of bank holiday weekend at the house basically painting so you will see lots of montages of us doing that so you're welcome but for now I'm going to run and go make some dinner really quickly and just get on with my life and um yeah I might take you to Ren with us actually I hope they let us use their um virtual reality room again because that was really cool we've only done that once but I want to see the final kitchen and the whole layout before we obviously sign up to order the kitchen so that would be really cool actually and i'll definitely take you along with me if we get to do that but for now dinner time at 4 30 so random yeah so this is what i want there you go okay and if you look at an empty space and double click the trigger at the bottom oh this yep double click empty space okay. maybe somewhere else that's try it it uh, looks like you're stuck. Look at the other side somewhere. Turn around, that's it. This time. That's it, now do it. There we are. Yeah. Oh, okay. Just so treat it yeah, like... VR. Treat it like it's a Google uh, Street view. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's really good, don't you? It does, yeah. Let's have a look. Can you also see what I'm seeing? Yeah. Yeah, on the big screen. Okay, now you're in the... There we are. Now you're standing on one angle. One side of the oh, kitchen. Looks nice. Oh, Oops. In the oven. Yeah, okay. don't know what you're doing inside <laughs> the oven. Um, Do you know what? I like the five ring hob actually. Yeah. Yeah, we are. As long as you like it. You kind of. Oops. Now you somehow you managed to teleport on the other side of the island. I think by double clicking or um, something. Yeah, I like the yeah. five ring because I think it, you've still got enough plenty of space actually. So look, turn around to your right and see the little. That's your cabinets there, the one that there. So maybe you can just it now. You're standing there, I guess. You can walk a little bit. I know they look navy. Oh yeah, they do. yeah. That's what I was. Okay, I'll bite. <laughs> just a shadow. Okay. Oh yeah, and obviously because they stick out further than this wall. So yeah. In reality, they'll be, you know. Oh, okay. Yep. Just don't walk outside the room. <laughs> I think it looks pretty good. Any changes from you? No, I don't think so. Here's a sink. <laughs> It looks good, doesn't it? And actually, yeah. that cabinet looks quite good as well, just good. without a gap. <laughs> it's quite light. It's actually, a really good gap, yeah. What's the purple thing under the fridge? Is that just. It won't be purple, <laughs> oh, will yeah. it? Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> well, I know there's an interesting bit now. The wall bringing it out. Because you see the cornice at an angle. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. You might need to do the uh, wall bigger now. Oh really? Okay. Or oh, I see, go yeah. for the modern cornice on this side. Why That's so what cool? I was thinking, yeah, the modern cornice, yeah. Because it doesn't have to look, oh. look like the kitchen, you this still got the shaker style. Like, yeah, this way you look like the room, yeah. right? Because yeah. you have this wall. Exactly. And, uh, but would it, is it still not okay if it overhangs a little bit? Does it not look good? No. Hi guys, welcome to my showroom. Because mm. <laughs> I thought it'd be a kitchen behind me, but it's not. We're still at Ren. It's been five hours. There we go. The kitchen has been ordered. It's gone midnight. We, We're literally the only people in Ren. <sighs> what a long night. We've been here since seven o'clock. leave because oh god because the door's locked and the guy's gonna try and figure out how to let us out Charles had to lock up <laughs> well, the, well, we're finally being let out we've been imprisoned in Wren 
Oops. Oh, there we go. We've got a set of keys as well. Oh, I'm not going to get sacked by this. <laughs> there is a guy in the car park because Ren's near a gym having the time of his life <laughs> blasting Bollywood music. It's like off midnight. Anyway, we, um, I started vlogging, but then, um, yeah, the guy came downstairs and he's like, you can carry on. And I was like, no, it's fine. Really awkward. <sighs> but now we're going home. I should have peed, Jess. Eh? Why didn't I pee earlier? While well, we were in there, it's like a 40 minute drive home as well. What a nightmare. Can you hear the music? What is there people around here, honestly? I literally don't know how I'm going to cope tomorrow, Jess. I've got to go to the opticians for nine, be at the house for ten, I've got a tree surgeon coming at twelve, my parents coming at one. It's going to be such a long day. Zumba class. Yeah, that was in the class. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we do this style. <laughs> <laughs> Looks more like a dance class actually. It's quite funny. Thing, but we've been on our feet and out all day so we're at the house currently we've been here since this morning we had to go to tool station and screw fix and pick up all this stuff and then the builder was here for about three or four hours i think just showing us how to like prepare the walls for painting because we have to use cork on the edges now that they've been plastered then do a mist coat then do two coats of paint and he was showing us how to um, okay, there isn't one down here, but he was showing us how to fill all the gaps between the walls and the skirting and like basically sanding with all the stuff that we basically have to do. So that was really helpful, but we literally got into it and 10 minutes later, my parents arrived um, because they were coming down today to see the house. So we've just spent like a couple of hours, I think, with them. And then my uncle came down with my cousins. My mum had bought his food for them. They came to like, um, and pick it up and then because I had an appointment with a tree surgeon this afternoon I was talking to my uncle about it because they're currently getting their garden done so he's giving me like loads of helpful advice but do you know what it's now 6 40 p.m and we're just calling it a day we haven't done much but to be honest we're just so shattered we've had semi late nights this week so we're gonna go home and then come back tomorrow and just start fresh I think that's probably the best idea isn't it Jess? Mm. It's Sunday, we feel a lot more refreshed today. And we have another day of painting, sanding, brushing, filling, mist coating and all the rest of it. But I think we had a bit of a lion this morning actually. I say lion, I woke up at like 10 to nine or something like that. That's a lion for me these days. And uh, yeah, I wanna get as much done as possible because I don't wanna spend all bank holiday weekend here. So that's basically the plan for today. First things first though, I kind of forgot to have breakfast before we left the house. So we have some straws, bloobs, mango, nectarines and um some like indian bits that my mum bought for us so that's gonna see us through until dinner time anyway i don't know, i don't think we'll be here that long but let's see how we get on don't be fooled kids this is not ice cream <laughs> we haven't even started doing anything yet and um we're having a little garden picnic here for me mm. Oh, um, a bit manky. Doesn't this look like a little cape? 
Huh. Basically, we're using Jess's old t-shirt as a rag. Huh. We just cut it up with a Stanley knife, but <laughs> it looks like a little cape that you wear over strapless dresses or something. <laughs> it's so funny. So we've got these builders' lights on because it's very hard to see in this downstairs toilet, but am I blocking your light, Jess? No, Okay, so Jess is caulking all the edges. I've sanded all this down. I actually um, painted in the corners the other day, but I don't think I've done a very good job. And it's really hard to see, because I think the builder was saying there's bits in here that he's not happy with in terms of the finish for the plaster, but I really want to get the mist coat done in here today. So first step is to sand all the walls down with 180 grit, was it? Yeah. Sandpaper, um, wall ceilings, everything that's been plastered. Then you brush off all the dust, essentially. Then you cork the edges with this stuff that is apparently what the professionals use. And then you like do the mist coat, right? So. Yeah. You do the edges with a brush, but obviously you do the rest with a roller, or however you're going to do it. As you can see, it's really dark in here, it's very hard to see because obviously there's no natural light, so it's fine. Um, it's probably also quite a good place to start with the painting, I think, because if you cock it up, once again, it's going to be dark in here. It's going to be very dark in here actually, isn't it, Jas? Yeah. Like, <laughs> imagine the winter, because we've got a lot of natural light today, it's a sunny day, but just in life when there's doors and cabinets and all the rest of it, so yeah. So I'm gonna wait for him to cork the edges. It's actually 1.30 now, so that takes about an hour to dry. So it'd be good timing, we can stop and have some lunch. And I've just sanded down like the chimney breast in the living room and just the bits that are free of like clutter <laughs> where there isn't stuff leaning against the walls and things like that. So that's basically the plan. Oh my God, so while Jess has been doing the corking, I've been let loose with the builder's loppers. I think they're called loppers. And if I come around here, so we have all these trees that really overhang into both our neighbour's gardens. All the way onto our neighbour's side on the right. These are the trees at the back of the garden. And this is some of the stuff that the builders have chopped down. The grass doesn't grow in this area because it's so shaded because of the trees. And then on this side, we've got all these other trees. In fact, that's the cherry blossom, and all of it is pretty much on the in the neighbour's garden on the other side. And so they all just need to go. They're causing a lot of damage to the garage, to the floor, to the ground, to the neighbour's fence, like everywhere. <laughs> and I've just chopped down. But it's very hard to see because the grass is also really long, but I've just chopped down so much of it with some loppers. It's really quite hard to see it on camera, but I think all the neighbours are in the garden today because it's such a nice and warm day. It doesn't really look any different here from here, Jess. painting so much but I've done a mist coat on these walls just the bits I can reach not the ceiling and not the tops but all the bottoms and the middles and now we're gonna have a little break in fact Jas has just run out of the cork he's gonna order some more from screw fix and I get to go pick it up which basically means I get a break from the house which I'm very excited for <laughs> okay we're calling it a day I've mist coated the downstairs toilet I'm just shutting the windows and Jas is just packing up, like cleaning the brushes and the oh, paint rollers and stuff like that. But we actually just got chatting to one of our neighbours and he's actually a painter decorator. I'm going to get around here, hold on. And he's actually a painter decorator. So we've just realised that this is going to take us far too long to paint. And even yesterday when my parents came around, they were like, just get someone in to paint. And I totally agree it's just going to take up so much of our time even this professional who does this for a living said it's going to take him about four weeks to do the entire house so it would take jas and i about eight weeks i reckon which we do not have that much time so basically we had him um to come in and have a look <laughs> basically telling us we've done a really shoddy job which i think we kind of knew anyway um it, he's not he's not lying it's true we've done a pretty bad job and but to be honest once you get all your walls plastered um and then you start painting 
the paint is the thing that everyone's gonna see, not the plaster behind it. So you do need a professional to do it. And we kind of asked him for a price, but his English isn't great, there's a bit of a language barrier, but we said, just think about it. And he's gonna get his niece or somebody to try and translate for us, um, which is fine, so there's no rush, but he wants to start tomorrow night. So this guy actually does a lot of work in Chelsea and Fulham, and what I thought was really interesting was he mentioned Farrow and Ball, and he was like, what's your final color gonna be? Your final, like, top coat? And I was like, oh, I'm thinking, like, different colors in every room, but I haven't decided yet. I just know that one room's gonna be Farrow and Ball. And he was like, yeah, definitely go with Farrow and Ball, it's the best paint. He was like, Gilux is okay. And I just thought that was really interesting, because I've been, obviously harping on about Farrow Ball to Jass as well but of course it's very expensive on the board. Yeah he actually wants to start tomorrow so he is actually doing another job at the moment because in the evenings he's more than happy to do three hours every night and we were just like do you know what that's fine um because Jass and I aren't going to do three hours every night anyway so we are taking a bit of a gamble but I think he's going to do a good job I mean this is his full-time job he said he's been doing it for like over 15 years and he's a painter decorator interestingly though some of the products our builder told us to buy he was like oh no don't use that i use even better stuff so it's kind of hard to know like who to trust but uh, i think this is his job do you know what i mean the builder obviously knows his shit when it comes to building materials and that's fine because that's what he specializes in these windows are really stiff so i am kind of more inclined to go with what he thinks and he was it was hard to understand him but i think he was basically saying that he has all of these products in his shed products <laughs> tools and whatever he needs so he was like they were they're free there's no charge but obviously he's gonna have to charge us for the labor he's not our friend like you know he's not gonna do it for free so hopefully he is an extortionate i mean he was saying obviously this is ideal for him he's literally right next door no traveling costs he can go home for lunch and all the rest of it so yeah um we might just take a bit of a gamble and go with him because honestly i absolutely hate painting with a passion let me just show you something in here really quickly so we had to cork all of the edges <laughs> and i did this and it's such a bad job and I was going to ask the builder when they're next in on Tuesday to be like how do I fix this because this was my very first attempt I don't know why I didn't do a more discreet corner <laughs> and then when I was painting down here I said to Jas I was like oh my god this is perfect and then I remember that the builder actually did this bit so that was a bit stupid of me wasn't it but you know like it's a big job <laughs> he has to like fill between the walls and the wood and he has to like fill these bits and cork the edges um and then obviously do a mist coat and then the paint and blah 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 but interestingly he said this was fine to cork um the cork that we are using he said wasn't very good but he wants to start in this front bedroom tomorrow so we are gonna have to come back at some point which we were going to do anyway and like move all of this stuff into the center of the room just so that this is done and ready for him to make a start. Anyway, this video yeah. is probably gonna be about an hour long, so I'm gonna end it here. I'm gonna start the next week's renovation tomorrow, because it's actually Sunday today. Tomorrow's bank holiday Monday. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you're enjoying this, and I will see you next week with a new video. Bye.